I talked recently about my weight loss and some of the things that I was going through emotionally, mentally, uh, physically that led to my, my weight loss, uh, to my weight loss journey. And one of the tools that I was using to kind of calculate uh, my weight loss or to track my weight loss to see how I was doing was the body mass indicator calculator. Now these are available anywhere. There's apps on your phone. You can find, find them on your computer, uh, but they all seem to be the same, right? So they're all consistent. All the ones that I've tried have been really consistent. And the one I've been using the most is the CDCs. Uh, so the Center for Disease Control, I mean, you go to their website or if you just type into the search engine uh, BMI calculator, that'll be one of the first ones that'll probably pop up for you. But that's what I've been using. And oh my God, it can just take all the wind out of your sails when you use this thing. Uh, because I would put in my height and my weight, because that's all it takes. That's all to ask for is your height and your weight. So I put in, you know, six foot two, I'm, you know, right now I'm at 210 pounds, uh, well, 210, 211. So I, I keep coming down. I'll go up a pound, down a pound, uh, plateau, but then I'm still losing. I'm not to my optimal weight yet, but I want to get to 200, but at 210, 211 pounds at six foot two, the BMI calculator says I'm obese. I mean, I, I, I don't know. I, I was obese, you know, when I was at 270 pounds, you know, a year and a half ago, but not, not today. So how am I obese by these metrics that they're using at six foot two, 210, 211 pounds? Uh, I, so I started putting in other people's, you know, height and weight that I could find. And I put in Tom Brady's height and weight and they say that he's obese. How can Tom Brady be obese? I mean, it's six, you know, six foot four. And with his weight, they say he's obese. So I kept digging and kept digging. And because I was like looking for athletes, you know, who, somebody who works out a lot, you know, people who've reported to eat healthy, uh, lead healthy lifestyles. And LeBron James is obese. Like, what standard do they want? What do you want from people? Do I have to be 170 pounds? I mean, it shows you your ideal underweight, overweight, but it just becomes almost unobtainable to their standards. Like, are we going to get back to the 80s and everybody's going to have to do cocaine and stuff to start losing weight and take fentermine? That was a, <laughs> fentermine is a popular weight loss pill. And all it is is speed. And the way you lost weight was because you were so amped up. It was like drinking 80 Red Bulls uh, that you would <laughs> either go run a marathon or clean your house all day. <laughs> so uh, that's how a lot of people uh, stayed thin back in the 80s was fentermine and cocaine. So I just, if you are on a weight loss journey, I would suggest not using the BMI calculator anymore. Go to your doctor, work with your physician, meet with a nutritionist. Uh, get your body fat, you know, measure. That's what you should really be focusing on probably is your muscle weight versus your skeletal weight versus your water weight, uh, then your fat, how much fat do you have on your body? So those are the real key indicators. And there's lots of health people out there on YouTube uh, that, that talk about this probably more than I do and know more than, way more than I know. I'm just giving you my anecdotal story about what I've been going through with my weight loss. So I don't know, is there any celebrities that you know that it, 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 you're curious about their, their height and weight? You can just Google search that stuff and it comes right up their height and weight and their age and things like that. And there are some BMI calculators that do ask for age. I don't know why that matters. What I'm I, so I can weigh more if I'm older than I can if I'm younger based on my height and weight. Like it just seems inconsistent. Like I know my car needs the same motor oil, whether it's brand new or if it's five years old. So it just, it becomes nonsensical. And if, and if you pay too much attention to this stuff, and if you're using these things that that kind of deflate you, uh, it'll set you back. You know, I get call setbacks that I kind of fell into that for a little bit where I just 
I was like, ah, oh, what's the point? I, I'm, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm losing weight. I look thinner. I fit better in my clothes. I've had to buy a whole new wardrobe uh, because nothing fit anymore. So, you know, and I'm eating healthier. I'm eating better. I'm sleeping better. My, my health is better. My mind is clear. My mind's better. So like all in all, I feel great, but nope, the CDC says I'm a fat ass. So I don't know. Uh, share your journey with me. Tell me, are you going through something similar? Have you tried some of these apps? Is there an app out there that you know that, that I don't know, I haven't found yet that works better for you? Or is there a metric that you're using uh, to kind of get your optimal body, you know, image for yourself, what you want it to be, or, you know, cause I've got a scale, right? You know, the, a lot of these scales now have uh, body fat measurements. I don't know how completely accurate they are. I've gone to some of these health stores, have this device that you stand on that's a scale and you hold on to these two rods and it gives you apparently a complete breakdown of what's going on with your body. Like how, like I said, how much water you're carrying, uh, fat, skeletal mass, all these things come into account when you're figuring out your weight. So anyway, I just, I, when I saw this and I started looking up these other athletes and saw how crazy it was that they're calling these people obese, yet they're some of the healthiest, leanest people that I know. Uh, and would, you know, most people would strive to look like that. And the CDC says they're obese and that they might be predisposed to prediabetes. I just, <laughs> it's, you know, come on. Yeah, we give us a break. We're really trying out here. We are, we're really trying. So I don't know. I don't know, you tell me, leave a comment down below. Tell me about your story and what you're going through. If you've had similar issues or, or your own weight loss journey. I'm very interested and curious as to what everybody else is going through. All right, well, thanks a lot for watching.